hello guys so i will be discussing about wordpress subdomain how you can easily set up subdomains in your wordpress if you already know that there is a difference between subdomain and a subfolder subfolder is uh, 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 like site.com slash your uh, page slug or anything that is considered as subfolder but subdomain is if it comes before your root domain like subdomain dot site dot com with WordPress, you can have unlimited pages and subfolders and posts. Everything goes in the subfolder, considered as subfolders. But uh, by default, you cannot have uh, it like subdomain way. But if you want that structure to be as subdomain for any reason, it could be anything. It could be search engine optimization. It could be client optimization. It could be content management. It could be anything. There could be lots of reason for that. But if you want that, by default WordPress do not support it but if you want to do that you will need to have a technical knowledge either you go to cPanel or you go to your hosting you create lots of subdomains and point them and all the things that you go around there is a plugin called WordPress page as subdomain it has a lot of other uh, varieties as well that is WordPress post as subdomain category subdomain WooCommerce subdomain so whatever you are trying to make it subdomain they have a uh, plugin for that so this plugin does what uh, it does is that you will just have to once create a wildcard entry in your cPanel or your hosting panel whatever you are using and then you simply create a page in your WordPress dashboard and then you simply check and assign a checkbox and define that I want that page to be the subdomain so the structure of that page will become like page.site.com instead of, instead of default like site.com slash page so there are a couple of things that you need to configure before that to get that uh, set up correctly and uh, even uh, to have uh, that uh, optimized for search engines and have no bad impact on your search engine indexing and everything. So I'm going to show you a little bit of video about uh, how you can configure all these things and you can have unlimited subdomains right with your WordPress from your dashboard. Thanks. Uh, so if you need to know how you can configure the wildcard subdomain, I have attached a video over here. You can just click over here if you don't know. And the rest of the configurations I'm going to show you now. Once the plugin is activated and uh, the license, license is activated, you simply create a page and you will get like uh, site.com slash subdomain. That is in the subfolder. But uh, if you select this, make this as a subdomain. And once you uh, click this page, the URL structure that you will see over here is subdomain.site.com and you can notice that I'm also logged in using the subdomain so this is because of the cookie entry that I'm going to show you that you need to create so I'm still logged in in the subdomain but generally what happens is if you're on a subdomain and you're logged in on the main domain you get logged out so if you have this issue there is a simple uh, cookie configuration that you need to place once once that is done you can see that uh, this has a subdomain structure so uh, what if uh, uh, this is the structure that is already indexed in your site then there won't be any problem because this structure will also work and even on this structure I'm going to show you uh, the source of the page and you can see that there is a canonical yeah that is a canonical URL that is placed over here which is called subdomain uh, on dot site dot com so like if you are going on the subfolder like uh, it is currently indexed so I'm just showing you that this is not a duplicate content so if you still click on the page source which is going to the subfolder and you go canonical and it is still pointing the search engines to subdomain.site.com so this is politely telling that you need to re-index this page you need to modify or upgrade the actual url that is currently indexed to the page so that turns out that uh, instead of 301 redirecting if your old uh, url is somewhere shared or any place else there won't be any redirections there won't be any confusions people will still see that page and google will still index that page but after some time google will slightly slowly changes that to subdomain.site.com this is for the existing site but if your site is new your site map will be will have following url in the xml feed so the new subdomain structure will be indexed in, instead of this subfolder thing so it is totally search engine optimized 
and uh, there are a few things that uh, I've noticed that like people are complaining about they are getting logged out when they are on the subdomains. So there is a WP, there is a cookie thing and there is a, a cookie configuration that is to be placed in the WP config file. I have uh, placed that code in uh, the description if you had that problem. And if you have any other questions and issues, just let me know and I will try to answer them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I will be sharing a lot more plugins, reviews and uh, how tos about the WordPress uh, configurations, plugins and everything. So also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.